Welcome to Stone Magpie for a kitting up video. Yes, just about to start a new kit. I've got that flutter of excitement in my tummy. I love the start. So what have I chosen? Well, I've had lots of lovely kits recently, so it has been a hard choice, but this one just kept popping into my head. So I've decided to go with Crystal Ball by Anne Stokes and the kit is from Diamond Art Club. So we've got the pre-printed stickers here. We've got the diamonds, lovely colours in this kit. Crystal Ball to confirm. We've got two Diamond Art Club trays here ready, a white and a translucent. I've got a pair of scissors. I've got the Tic Tac storage that I'm going to use for this kit. I've also got my blue book alongside, which does have the list of the colour names for the DMC colours. So we may refer to that in the video. And I've also got a hot cup of coffee ready because we do need refreshments sometimes when we're kitting up. So cheers, everybody. Right, before we start, let me just apologise for my tablecloth. I really didn't want to start ironing this morning. <laughs> I'm just desperate to get going with this kit. Okay, so let's do just that. All right. let's refer now I don't use these numbers down the side so I will quickly cut those off as we go along but when I do my unboxings I just then shove all the colors in back in in any old order so before I get going with the actual opening of the packets I want to make sure I know which colors are in order so that we don't get all muddled I usually pull the ABs out when I'm doing the unboxing. How many ABs have we got? We have got a lot. <laughs> Six. I found three. Four. Five. Six. They are all our ABs to start with. Now, I have to admit, with Diamond Art Club, they do their stickers in number order yet they pack the packets in weight order. And so for me, it always confuses the issue a little bit because I want to go down to the list and pack up in number order. Right, we'll deal with that as we go along, but it does frustrate me a little bit because I would like to have the numbers. <laughs> I would like to have the numbers in the packets, in order, go down one by one, instead of having to search for the numbers. Anyway, it's just a little moan there. If you're using the Elizabeth Ward style storage, it may help you when it's all packed up in the weight order because you'll know which is the bigger pack to use your bigger containers with. That's not so important when we're using the Tic Tac boxes. Right. So we're going to start with the AB colours. As I said, just going to cut down because I only want this portion of the sticker. So number one is 105. First box out. I love this colour AB. It is so pretty. And on the diamond painting, it's on the goblet here. If you didn't see the unboxing, please do catch that and you'll see where all of these ABs sit on the diamond painting. Wonderful colour. 105. And it is the number one symbol. If you've not seen my kitting up before, I always sort by symbol. So I'll show you that a little bit as we go along. For now, it can sit here. Number two symbol, 115. 
a deep red AB. Beautiful. Ooh, absolutely stunning colour. And these pre-printed stickers make it so easy just to lift and pop on, done. Number three, one, two, four, a pretty, pretty pink. So gorgeous. Next, number four, one, three, six. Now these ones, a really big bag of these, and I remember that these are sitting in those stained glass windows behind. It's like a purpley blue color. I'm not sure if all of these will fit in one Tic Tac box. So we'll try. Oh, it's gorgeous. Yeah, I'm not going to force those in. So this is a bit of a spare. I'm just wondering whether to do, I've got 55 colors and 64. No, I'm going to get some sellotape and keep that as a spare. So just going to seal the bag up with, I know Diamond Art Club provide us with some self seal bags, but I just find it easier to fold that over, pop some sellotape on, and then I've got the number to hand when I need more diamonds. So that was... So I'm missing 137, 137. Ah, it hid from me then, 137, a little bag of these turquoisey ABs. Oh, doing my usual spillage. That's why I did bring two trays as well because sometimes as we're kitting up, we get a little bit staticky, don't we? So I thought I'd have a spare tray just in case. And sometimes if you put the trays underneath each other, it will catch the spills. And number six is number six is one four one cute little pack of ab's in the i'm not sure if they are white or whether they've got a slight pink to them it's quite tricky to tell when they're ab colors because of the extra colors on the top I think they've got a slight pinky tinge. So that's an A symbol. So we'll leave one spare and put the A next to it for the letters to continue. Right, now we are up to the DMC numbers continuing, the usual non-ABs. Cut down here again. Now you may notice that I'm only cutting part way and that's because I still want to refer to these numbers down the side as well. Okay, I hope that makes sense. So our number seven is actually symbol seven, one, five, two. And this is where I would prefer to go in order by pack. However, because they are packed by weight, I'll have to now search for one, five, two. Hmm, I'm just thinking. This is going to take forever doing it this way. Right, I'm going to... I am going to do it by order of the bags. 
otherwise it's just going to take me so long looking through. So I'm going to skip certain symbols and do it by packet order instead. So we've got 154, a really hefty pack of these lovely sparkly diamonds. I'm going to put the sticker on first because we're doing 154. And I do not want to get confused. <laughs> it doesn't take a lot to confuse me, so we'll try and eliminate that as much as possible. Now this is like a deep, 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 deep purple brown. I am going to look at the colour for this because it is beautiful. It looks quite aubergine. 154. Get my trusty book. Red, very dark red. Well, it is very dark. I would have said that was more purpley than red. So again, I'm going to seal this pack with some sellotape and put it aside as a spare. I've also got another pack here. Right, 3371 is next. So we're skipping quite far ahead on this one. Again, going to cut down those numbers, but not all the way down just so that I can still refer to them if I want to. And this is symbol T. Move that along, pop our number eight in there. Symbol T, 3371. I know I'm going to need my sellotape again very quickly for this one. This dark brown. and seal it up. Oh, quite a few packs for this, so put them there and put those aside. Next, 398. <laughs> Next, 938. 938. And there's three packs of these. it a bit low there so we may have a bit of an accident not too bad and this again is a brown we're going to have quite a few browns in this kit because of that wonderful church background oh goodness and we're on the K symbol so that can slot in between there. Please do let me know how you kit up. Do you pop them in symbol order like I do? Do you put them in DMC number order? How do you like to work? Because I find when I'm looking at the canvas and I see the symbol, I find it quicker to go straight to the symbol rather than look at the colour number. Everybody works in a different way, so I'd be interested to hear how you do. 301 is a heart symbol. Let's go up here. Just one pack of these ones, and it is a orangey brown, this one like a gingerbread. Mm -mm. Oh, I'm already getting onto food. This always happens when I'm kitting up. I start talking about food and make myself so hungry. 
Now, I, these are starting to get a little bit staticky. Don't know if you can see that, but they jumped. So I may switch trays, pop these in. If your trays get really staticky as you're kitting up, then I recommend that you wash them in like a soapy water and dry them. And that will get rid of the static if the static is in the trays. If the static are in the diamonds, then try using a dryer sheet. That's what I've done in the past and it has helped. Other people have said to pop them in the freezer. That's worked for them. Other people have, have actually washed their diamonds, which I think sounds quite laborious, but it's worked for them. So try a few different methods to get the static out of your diamonds. I think it's the trays. Let's swap and try. Next, we're on three tens, which is a dot symbol as usual. I'll go up here again. The 310 is always a dot, I'm sure it is. I don't know about the other symbols, whether they are always the same. I've never thought to look at that. 310s, a few packets of 310s, as you can imagine. So pop those with my spares and open this one. Let's see about the static. Oh, so sparkly. absolutely fine so I think it was the white tray that had a bit of static problem so 310 black that is the official description of a 310 next 814 which is a hash symbol Thank you so much for joining me during this kitting up video. I wonder, do you enjoy kitting up too? Do you get that little tingle of anticipation that you're starting a new kit? Or do you feel that this is just not fun at all? <laughs> I imagine though, if you're not a fan of kitting up, then I doubt you'll be watching this video. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining me. Please do consider liking, sharing and subscribing. It's always much appreciated and very, very, very much appreciated. 3857. I always feel very fortunate that I've got such lovely viewers. I think I've got the loveliest viewers in the whole of the YouTube universe. <laughs> Everyone is so fabulous, sharing ideas, being kind to each other. I love it. Okay, 3857. Another brown. Now this one to me seems more chestnut. Got a red in it, hasn't it? Definitely. Oh, oh. silly me. Oh my goodness, I'm getting messier. <laughs> you know, I used to manage a nursery with all the messy play. You can imagine that was my best area. <laughs> used to encourage the kids to get stuck in and make a mess. Admittedly, not with diamonds, more with gloop. Right, we're on to the next stream. 300 is an F, so we're still on the alphabet.
another brown. I think when we get to the smaller colours, that's when we're going to see more of a rainbow in these diamonds. Can't wait! It was rather nice starting with the ABs though. symbol 3350 is an arrow okay let's go up to the top 3350 oh might have to look at what this color name is oh mm, let's have a guess um Oh, what does it remind me of? It's kind of like a pale raspberry. Let's see. 3350. Oh. <gasps> Dusty Rose, ultra dark. Ooh, imagine having a flower, a rose, that colour in the garden. <gasps> That would be beautiful. Five, four, three. Still trying to keep hold of these numbers on the sides, but it's hanging on by a thread. Uh, what's the symbol? It's a dash. like a natural, not quite a mushroom. Oh, it's very pretty color. Look at the static in the packet there. That's definitely static in the diamonds. Let's see if we can get them all in without too much of an issue. Yeah, go on, come on. They are jumping a little bit. Don't know if you can see. Oh. I don't know if you can see that, they jumped out. So we'll see how, once I get diamond painting, see if they've calmed down or whether I need a dryer sheet in there. Come on now, don't misbehave and jump out. Go back down. Ooh. They're all over me now. Don't want to be left in the packet. They definitely want to be playing. Squidge them in. Come on then. If you insist. 414 next. Ooh, it's like a little Tetris shape. Gosh, I used to love Tetris. Okay. See, these ones don't look bad at all. Straight out. Isn't it funny how certain colours have more static than others? Oh, that's beautiful colour. <gasps> that is gorgeous. I'm going to look up that colour name. Could it be a steel grey? 414. 414. Ah! Oh, steel grey, dark. Yes. I think I'm getting a bit better with these namings of the colours now. It's only taken three years. <laughs> 3772 is like a right angle. Put it up here. 3772. Oh, mm -mm. uh-uh. It's -uh. staticky. Let's 
see how we get on. Oh, come on. They're jumping a little bit. Gosh, it makes it so much harder when they're staticky, doesn't it? Come on. No, don't jump out again. Right. See if this will work. Put them in my hand instead. Right, let's hope. Not too bad. Oh, no, they keep jumping out. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> right. Next is 160. Now I think I've jumped pack here because these look a lot fuller than these ones, but we'll go to those next. 160 is an arrow. An arrow down. Oh, a pretty, pretty. It's like a pale denim blue. Ooh, gorgeous. It's like those 80s denim jeans. Do you remember, quite pale, lovely. 977. Back to the alphabet, we've got an N. Orange family. I think, anyway, I'll, I'll look at the colour for this. I think it's going to be some sort of orange. Um, ooh, I can't guess. Let's see. 977. 977. Golden brown. Light. Ooh, a golden brown. Hmm. No, I don't think it is. Hello, Pete. 839. Ooh, now look at these two symbols that are quite close together, both like crosses, so I will call that a cross and put it next to it so I don't get confused when I'm diamond painting. 839. Another brown, a dark brown. I'm going to keep that out to see what. Um, oh no, put that in. Next, nine six one. Oh, an equal sign. So we'll put that next to this one. pop of pink and this looks quite similar to the dusty rose that we had so I wonder if this is it looks a bit brighter beautiful color 961 is it in the rose family 961 dusty rose dark yeah. 950. Oh, let's hope these ones are behaved because the other one that was quite similar did um, cause some static problems. No, this one doesn't look as bad. Straight out. Oh, that's a beautiful, now then, it looks quite 
pinky, like a pinky beige. I'm going to look up the colour for that one. Nine fifty. Nine fifty. Desert sand light. Mm. Could be in a desert right now. It's cold in the UK as I'm doing this. It'd be nice to have a bit of warmth. Okay. Back to the alphabet with an E. And back to the grey family. Ooh, dark, dark. Maybe with a slight hint of green. Let's have a look. By the way, if you're wondering where I got this from, I found it years ago on the internet that was free and I just printed it off. And it's how I plot the colour diamonds that I've got in my leftovers. Pewter grey dark, this one. So we've gone from steel grey to pewter grey. Lovely. Next, 3858. Two dots. And this is definitely a ready brown. Colour is 161, which is like a wavy equals, so we'll pop it here. And this looks like a blue-grey to me. Really gorgeous colours. Oh, lovely. A bit denim -y again, but darker. We'll have a look at the colour on this one, because I don't think it will be officially called denim. There was a little friend in there. Did you spot it? Little red AB. Cheeky. 161. 161 is petrol blue. Dark. Ooh, okay, petrol blue. Right, we're going to go back to some of the bigger packs. Because I think they were left behind by mistake. Silly, naughty me. 976, which is an R symbol. Again, looks quite gingerbread like to me. I don't think we looked up the colour name last time, so we will this time. Oh, it's kind of, it would be a bright gingerbread, to be honest. <laughs> it's perhaps not as ginger, oh, static again. Might not be as gingerbread as the other one was. Now, can we remember the colour of the last orange that I said was orange and it didn't agree with me? I think that said golden brown, didn't it? I'm not fighting the static in this. Let's pop the lid on. I think if I tried to force those into that tic tac box, they'd have been jumping everywhere. So put them back into the packet instead. and then pick up the jumpers. I think the last colour was golden brown, it called it. So maybe this is also golden brown, but in a different tonage. Maybe medium golden brown. Is it cheating when you know the name of the lighter version? I'm going to seal that up before they jump out again and then we'll look at the colour. Oh, one escaped. Didn't want to be left out. There we are. 976. Nine, 
176. <gasps> Golden brown medium. I did cheat a little bit, but that's a win. <laughs> There's the other one, just to show you the difference. Okay, next. 898. I think we're going to have to move the alphabet because we're getting more. We'll do that towards the end, I think. 898. A dark brown again. Did we have an. No, we can't have had an 898 earlier, but it looks very similar. Oh dear. That was me, not static. I just tipped them out. <laughs> Um, we definitely had a very similar colour to this earlier. We had a few though, didn't we? Because we've had quite a few chestnuts. Was it that one? Oh yes, look how similar they are. That one's slightly darker. And that one, oh, so close. Um, I'll pop this up here and we'll sort it out afterwards. Four hundred, we have two packs of. Do you know, I am pleased I chose, I am pleased that I chose to do it this way and get them out by packet order rather than go down the list. I do think it's worked quite well rather than having to search for the next number and cut it off and things like that. So a little tip from me there if you're not going by weight order. It's going a lot quicker than I thought it would. Which is nice when you're excited about the starting. Come on. In. Oh, there's always one, isn't there? There. H. Seal that. By using the tic tac boxes, I have actually got quite a pile of spares ready to use once we run out in the tic tac boxes. So I'll show you that at the end as well. So you can see just what a pile I've got. 815 is a line. So we'll do that here. Oh, wow, look at that color. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, I'd like a lipstick that color. Mm. Let's see what it's called. Berry lipstick, that's what I would call that. If I was naming the names berry lipstick. Mm -mm. I wonder if it is a cranberry colour. I remember there is cranberry colours in the DMC names. Next page. Garnet, medium garnet. Yes, it is garnety too. Yes. I prefer my name though. <laughs> Very lipstick. Mm. Although I do like garnets, so. Very pretty gemstone. Ah, 152, which is where we would have started had I gone down. The list, I would have had this one next, which is a number, 152. Oh, it's beautiful pink. Oh, 
that is gorgeous. It's not a sickly pink. Some, pi oh, some pinks can be quite sickly, can't they? This one isn't. Oh, oh, I'm squeezing them in. Just about fit. Lovely. 152, let's see. Oh, tawny, dark tawny. Oh, I thought it was pinker than a tawny. Surprised. 3774. Oh, we've got another line. So that one's going to sit here. So going back to how I sort out my colours by symbol, if you can see, that's going to sit there because I've got one quite similar and then quite similar colours. Doesn't always happen that way, but it's nice when it does. Hmm. I think these ones might be a bit staticky. Do you think it's something to do with this pale colour? I wonder if it's something in the dyes. Do let me know if you're having similar issues with these pale, creamy type colours. I'm not even going to force the rest of the packet in there because I think they'll just jump everywhere. So the last one was called Desert Sand. Do you remember? I'm going to look up this one and see if it's anything to do with the desert. 3774. 3774. Ah, desert sand, very light. We could have guessed that one, couldn't we, after um, the last desert colour? Just sticking this little runaway in. Okay, next. Oh, look at this colour, so delicate. Oh, that's like a chalky colour, isn't it? Three, seven, four, three. I have no idea what that sort of symbol is. I'm going to pop it with the lines. So I think it's going to be one of the antiques being quite chalky looking. I'm going to say antique mauve, very light. Let's see. Three, seven, four, three. Three, seven, four, three. Oh, it's antique violet, very light. Oh, well, I was close. Close, close. It's beautiful colour. Um, yeah, let's pop that in there. Okay. Right, this pack next, 3064, uh, lowercase a, so it's going to go into the alphabets next to the A. Now it's in the brown family. It's got a hint of pink in it though, definitely. Pinky, orangey, brown. Um, can't guess the colour name. 3064. 3064. Oh, <laughs> desert sand. <laughs> desert sand. Hmm. I think it's like a nudie lipstick colour. Um, I think I'm on my lipsticks today, aren't I? Going down the lipstick route, which is unusual. Usually it's food. <laughs> four, three, four. Right. I've got like a semicircle and a line. Let's put it up here. 
Again, these symbols may change position once I sort them out at the end. I think we're back to the gingerbreads. And this one is jumping a little bit. Did you notice they were quite packed into that pack? So let's get those in. Come on. So if I was naming, I would call that a dark gingerbread. Four, three, four. It is in fact, four, three, four, light brown. Not a very exciting name. Okay, this really beautiful mint colour, light peppermint, do you think? I never know the difference between peppermint and spearmint. So, would this be a peppermint or a spearmint? It's very pretty mint, whatever it is. Look, so delicate, oh, beautiful colour. 3756 is actually, oh yes, I've been caught out by this before. It's baby blue. And I absolutely disagree because baby blue to me is a pale blue blue. This is more of a greeny aqua peppermint spearmint. What do I know? 433. Three. Oops. Four, three, three, which is the C. I hope this isn't annoying you, but we will sort it out, I promise. <laughs> Another brown. I would say that's medium brown. I don't think there's going to be any other fanciness to that. 433, medium brown. Yep. By the way, all of these different browns are going to be in the background here. And because there are so many, the blending I think is gonna be absolutely beautiful. Right, 462, oh, delicate grey, 462. No, 762, 762. Star, ding. Oh, what a pretty colour. Pale silver grey. White with a hint of grey. Pale silver grey. Right. 762. Pearl grey. Very light. <gasps> Pearls. I'd love a pearl that colour. Lovely. Three zero four two. We've got a line and a wobble. 
a line and a wobble. Again, this is an antique colour. So what did we have last time? Antique. Uh, I said mauve, didn't I? And it wasn't right. So antique. Was it antique violet? Oh, it's gorgeous. Three zero four two antique violet light. Next, this one next is five five four massive packet for those little bits. Five five four is a circle with a line through. I wonder why they put that in a packet so big. I think they ran out of the smaller ones. Oh, lovely. What a bright pinky purple. That would definitely be like an 80s lipstick colour. 554. I could never get away with that colour of a lipstick. 554 Violet Light. Mm. Okay. I would have thought it would be a bright. Next pack, we're on to 317. Back to the greys. I'm going to say this is an L. I think it's supposed to be a right angle, but it looks like an L. So we've had steel and we've had pewter. This to me looks like it's got quite a blue in it. Perhaps it's a lighter pewter than the last one. We are jumping a little bit. Come on. And it has got a friend in it of that pale colour. Surely that hasn't created all of this static though. Okay, again, tip it into my hand, I think. I just find it sometimes easier to go off the hand than jump about. Just force them in. And the little runaways. Oh, got one there. JKL. 3866. A little square. It's dot like, so I am going to put it with the dots. Three eight six six. Oh, we didn't look at that, did we, to see where did it go? What was it? L, wasn't it? 317. Sorry, I forgot to look at the number of that. 317. Pewter grey. So it's just a pure pewter. Right. 3866. Six. Mm. It's a cream. It's to me, it's got a slight yellow in it. So to me, it's quite like a pale buttermilk. Let's see, 3866 Mocha Brown Ultra Very Light. Well, I think if I was ordering a mocha and it came like that, I think I would complain. <laughs> 3836, another chalky antique pink which wasn't a pink, it was a violet. Tick sign. Tick. So do you think this is going to be the antique violet? Mm, it's pinky though, it's really pinky. Antique, oh, we had a dusky rose though as well, didn't we? Which one should we go? Should we go antique dusty rose? 
3836. 3836 is 3836. Oh, <coughs> grape, light grape. Well, I've never had a grape that colour. Disagree. Mm. 829. Oh, we've got this cross that I was going to put next to this one because they looked quite similar in colour and it does look like an X to me. Not one of my X's. <laughs> anyway, sorry, I went off onto a different tangent there. Now look at this colour. Um, now you know I love all colours. And sometimes I feel a bit sorry for the drab colours because we have got drab colours. I have to say, I don't think this is going to be one of my favourite colours. It's kind of a bit... I wonder if this is a drab. And if it is, I'm going to feel sorry for it. But sorry, you are not one of my favourite browns. Where are you? Eight two nine. Let's see. It's got a sort of a green. It looks a little. No, I don't know. Eight two nine. Kind of reminds me of a dark baby poo. <laughs> Eight two nine. Okay. It's golden olive. Very dark. Very dark golden olive. Okay. Baby poo in my book. Anyway, let's move on from that. 159, a divide sign. <laughs> so I'm still giggling about baby poo. Right, this is nothing to do with baby poo. This is a very pretty purple. Well, it's blue purple, really. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Wow. 159. It's got a friend in there, but we can let them stay. Let them stay for tea. 159. Petrol blue light. What was the other petrol blue we had? Was it 161? Oh, it was 160, wasn't it? So petrol blue, light, and petrol blue medium. Really gorgeous. Pop it in there. They will definitely need sorting. 3733. We've got triangle now. I think I'm going to end up with like a maths category with the triangle, the divide, the right angle, etc. These feel a little bit staticky too. Lovely pink though. It's like um, edging towards coral. It's not quite a coral, but it's... Um, it has got a hint of that. a shame about this static I I have heard on the social media that um, some of the diamond art club kits have become more staticky so I hope that you're not having too much of an issue with them this one isn't too bad I have to say just every now and again three seven three 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 seven three three Dusty Rose. Oh, we're still in the Dusty Roses. Okay. 
that's me told. 3799, got a Y. Ooh, we're on angle. Right, I'll have to go up to this one. Ooh. Normally at this point, I'd be tempted to sort it all out right now, but we haven't got that many colours to go. So I will wait. This is a very dark grey. Lovely. 3799. Pewter grey, very dark. So yeah, we agreed it was a very dark grey. <laughs> 158. Um, yeah, I'll put them over here. These might move to arrows, you know. I know the triangles, but they're quite arrow like. I wonder if I could pack it that way. Mm. No, it didn't help. Come on. So we've had it quite a lot now with the brighter colours as well. So it wasn't just those creamy colours. After all, look at this colour though. <gasps> it's a blue purple. Now, will it be more purpley or blue in the colour name? It will, oh, it could be a grape again, couldn't it? What do you think? Have a guess while I'm sorting all of this out. <laughs> Have a guess, see if you're right. It's a bit like an ink blue. You know, the old fashioned fountain pens you used to have at school and you'd have to fiddle about with those little cartridges of ink. That's what that reminds me of. Right, let's see. Was that showing my age there? I don't know, anyway, 158. <laughs> blue, dark blue, as simple as that. I think I overcomplicated that one. On to our last strand. Three, eight, three, five. Um, three, eight, three, five is an arrow doing a U-turn. Oh, I dropped it. There. Oh no. There. Anyway, where were we? It was an arrow doing a U-turn. 3835. I've had an escapee as well. Pop that over there. Three eight three five. Three eight three five. Medium grape. Ah, we are back to the grapes. Again, not a, cra a grape colour that I've eaten. Three eight three four. So I think this is also going to be a grape. <laughs> three dots. 3834. So what do you think? Do you think it's going to be a very dark grape? Now I think this it's starting to get a bit more grape-like, isn't it? If the grape was in the sunshine. 3834. 3834. Dark grape. Okay. Now, this has got three dots, so I want it with the dots. There we are. Next. Oh, we're getting to the tiddly little packs now. 327, which is a bit like a lowercase n. 
No. In phonetics. No. Now, 327, so I, I don't think we're in the grape family still, but it does look quite similar. I'm back to the berries, that's a bit of junk. I'm back to the berries, 327. But that lipstick would be far too dark. <laughs> 327 Violet. Oh, Violet. Actually, it would be a pretty lip colour, not too dark for an evening. Very nice. Uh, I'll have to put that there to sort out later. 3041 J. I'm starting to twitch a little bit about getting these letters sorted, you know. But I've only got three packs to go after this one. I'm resisting. This is another antique violety mauve colour. Can you tell I'm trying to go faster because it's really annoying me not having the letters in order? <laughs> 3041. Antique Violet Medium. I'm going to leave it there. Oh, look at these three bright colours to go. Another bluey purpley colour. Another staticky bag. Now then, I think these look more like bluebells. There's more purple in this blue. 3807. You know when those beautiful bluebells pop up in late spring? Oh, it's gorgeous, isn't it? 3807. Not quite there yet this year. We've started getting snowdrops and daffodils in the UK. Always so lovely, a sign of coming out of the winter days and moving towards spring. Marching on. <laughs> ho, ho. Okay. 3807. Anything to do with the bluebell, do you think? <gasps> 3807 cornflower blue. Cornflowers. Oh yes, they are pretty. Cornflowers are more summertime, so a bit longer to wait for our cornflower. S, so we'll pop it there. Oh, green, I love this green. 701 is a beautiful, bright green. Got an anchor sign. Anchor symbol. I wish I knew what the colour was because I've had this green before and I always love it and I can never remember the name of it but look how bright and vivid it is. Stunning. And we've not got many so there'll just be a little twinkle of those. 701. Light green. As simple as that. I don't know why I can't remember it then. And it's not very light, to be fair. I think I've got a hair in there. Um, it's not light, is it? It's more bright green than light green. Last bag. And look, not many. 3608. A bright pink finish our kitting up with before we sort out all of the symbols into its proper order and see the rainbow at the bottom of the box. <gasps> oh. 3608. Oh, that was me rushing. 
getting too excited. 3608 to finish. Should we have a guess? Um, I would call that neon pink. 3608 is plum. Very light plum. Well, I'm sorry, but it isn't. Sorry to finish on a downer, <laughs> but that is not a plum. Just saying. Okay, we have now finished our stickers and I keep these just in case I ever want numbers in a kitting up. So I'm going to cut that off. Put that aside and keep in my stash of stickers. And you've noticed that I haven't used this big sticker in my logbook here. I can go to the um, opened page, find, there she is, crystal ball, take her out because this is the pile that I've unboxed. I'm going to write on the start date, today's date, and I'm going to pop it into my started kit. That surprised me because I haven't changed that either because I have finished this one now. So I need to sort that out as well. So just get a pen. I am recording this on the 4th of March, 2023. We finished that, now then, when did I finish that? 20, I'm just going to put February, 2023. I haven't framed it yet. Okay, and that is going into my finish section. If you haven't seen my video on my log booking, then I will link it into the eye for you so you can see how I've organized this. So I have this beautiful sticker that I've, I always say you can use on greetings cards and decorate them or on the front of notebooks. They're such beautiful stickers. Right, need to get sorted. So, going to take out the numbers. And I'm going to move these along. Get the alphabet sorted first. JK. Element O. Oh, there's the N for P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, X, X, Y. Right, so they are sorted, and I'll put a blank there. Okay. Then I've got, I've got a heart symbol, but these are really lines of different ways. I can move that, I'm going to put that in the line category. Okay, so we've got lines. We've got, oh, you see, I think that one should be a line as well. Okay, we've got dots. You see, that could be a line. We've got dots. Right, we've got arrows. These are random. That could be a circle for maths though, so I'm going to Maths here. So we've got arrows. Right. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm going to push these across the maths section. I've changed that one to there because it does have dots. Then I'm going to move these ones across. These are my random symbols. So they can sit there. And I'm going to change arrows to here. And the reason being is because I want my numbers at the top. What's there? So. Right, yes, I think that works well. I've got the numbers at the top, the letters at the bottom, we've got lines, we've got dots, we've got mathematical symbols, and we've got random symbols here. We are ready to start. And there we have it. We are kitted up, ready to start diamond painting this beautiful kit. Can't wait. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope that you've enjoyed the video, enjoyed seeing the different colour names, and I really do hope that you enjoy doing your own diamond painting. Please do like, share and subscribe, and I hope to see you next time. Take care, everyone. Bye. I forgot, I did promise to show you the spares. Here they are. So they are all of the extra diamonds that I didn't fit into the Tic Tac boxes. I'm going to sort them all out into number order and put them in this pack. And there we have it, ready to use when we need some extra diamonds. And of course, we do have the name on the pack so that we can remember what kit it refers to.